Hi, welcome everyone to the channel. I am Kekuk Tech. Uh, in today's video, I am going to show you how to upgrade your iOS 14.0 or 14.8 uh, series to iOS 15.1 for the upcoming jailbreak. Uh, first of all, I will show you uh, my current update. I am using iOS 14.8 at the moment. Uh, if you are on iOS 14.8 and below, you can also use this method to upgrade your iPhone into iOS 15.1 uh, version. Uh, Apple currently unsigned the uh, iOS 15.1, uh, but this method will help you to achieve uh, iOS 15.1 upgrade. Uh, I found some uh, interesting uh, tutorial from the cjb.com open your browser and then you can go to the cjb.com and scroll down and you can see 10 step uh, no PCIS 14.2 IS 15.1 upgrade tutorial uh, in this tutorial uh, they have mentioned the uh, latest uh, kernel exploit made by BrightUp and the rootless jailbreak developer. Uh, also, you can see uh, that has mentioned on the uh, uh, top of the page. Then you need to scroll down. Then you can find how to upgrade iOS 14 to iOS 15.1 uh, methods. Two methods, and I am going to the first method. Uh, with this, you need to select. Uh, uh, delay.ca method and then you will redirect to another page then there has a two guide uh, to no jailbreak iPhone and also jailbroken iPhone uh, currently at the moment I am using jailbroken method and also you can try uh, to no jailbreak method and close the advertisement okay uh, I'll move to my second method uh, to get update my iOS version with jailbroken state uh, here's the second method and also uh, you can find the compatible devices and compatible device versions and also for requirements they have mentioned a jailbreak on iPhone uh, first uh, you need to open uh, following repositories from Cydia or Zebra uh, I will copy that the first one is I copy uh, then open Zebra at the moment and also you can use the uh, Cydia I am uh, use Zebra uh, then go to the add sources and paste it then tap on the add button uh, you are adding repository that's not secure it will add the repository to your iPhone uh, then after that you need to add the second repo uh, here I will again add the first one because uh, I will show you the thing you need to install. Add. Paste it on the uh, source URL. Then tap on the add button. Uh, Feel to add uh, because I have already add this source uh, before, so I will press on the view. Then you need to go to all sources, then tap on the supervise, then press install, then confirm. It will supervise your device. Uh, this is need to. Uh, this is must need to update your uh, your version then uh, you need to head over uh, to second repo Kadot repo i'll copy that and paste it into 
my zebra repository uh, paste it add add also I have already added that uh, sources uh, because of that I am popping up this message then go to the uh, all packages then OT enabler uh, now tap on the OT enabler and it will give me uh, some uh, error message because of I have already uh, jailbroken with uncover and I already have disabled my OT enable uh, OT updates so OT enable can't uh, uh, continue the process with the jailbroken state with uh, disabled OT enable uh, state then I'll uh, you need to add uh, third repo uh, this one also is not working with the jailbroken state uh, because you need to disable OTA update uh, you have disabled OTA update uh, so you need to enable it with manual I'll show you in the later then go to the tweak and Dallas app install the latest version but this will also give an error for uh, some users if you have uh, faced this error so you need to do a uh, thing uh, so you need to open your anchor jailbreak and go to settings and you can see uh, there's option to uh, block auto updates uh, you need to disable it it will uh, enable automatically then you need to restore root fs and or you can uh, restart your device uh, manually this will lose your uh, jailbreak then after power on you need to again uh, re jailbreak your device uh, with disabling RTA uh, update I'll open the uncut jailbreak again uh, now you can see here the restore root fs I don't need that I'll turn off that and also uh, make sure to uh, disable the OTE update oh, so you need to open airplane mode and disable Wi-Fi uh, so I will disable my Wi-Fi now you need to disable airplane mode and enable Wi-Fi okay it's working this will take some time okay you can see the jailbreak is completed uh, without any error now I'm going to show you uh, I'm go to my IO phone settings then uh, I'll show you uh, the update is working uh, that means uh, now we have iOS 15.1 update on our update section uh, because we have already installed the supervised and Dallas app uh, so if you haven't get those update you need to uh, do this steps repeatedly okay now my phone is jailbroken now I am going to settings then software update then you can see the what is the update let's see okay here we go is 15.1 uh, this update uh, is currently unsigned by Apple but you can follow this method and get this unsigned iOS version 
Also, I can update my iPhone to iOS 14.8.1, but the uh, latest jailbreak will come to iOS 15.2 and below version. So, I'll prepare my iPhone to iOS 15.1. Then, next video, see you soon uh, with how to jailbreak iOS 15.1. Bye.